Dear participants of the EU Health Summit 2020, dear members of the EU Health Coalition, and everybody who works for a better healthcare and ultimately better health in Europe. Thank you for this opportunity to be speaking to you today and giving the final speech in this very important event right before the panel discussion on the impact of COVID-19. The ongoing COVID pandemic and our response to it has been the biggest test to all our systems, resources and policies that we have ever experienced in our lifetimes. On a daily basis, it requires urgent action from us, often stretching us to the limits of our current capacity. The greatest challenge, however, is that we should at the same time be thinking ahead, seeing the longer term perspective and learning lessons for better outcomes tomorrow and in the future. Therefore, I would like to stress the importance of what this summit sets out to do, that is to develop implementing actions for policymakers and stakeholders to translate recommendations into concrete policy changes. In the following, I would like to take up a topic that you addressed in your breakout sessions this afternoon, digital health and health data. The collection, analysis and dissemination of data is at the heart of ECDC's work and mandate, and that has become extremely relevant in the context of the COVID pandemic. Particularly in the beginning of the pandemic, we recognized that public health experts involved in data notifications to ECDC were busy with case finding and contact tracing. While these actions were of course priorities, the result was delayed data availability. When ECDC was founded 15 years ago in 2005, in the aftermath of the SARS epidemic, it set out to provide standardized and comparable infectious disease data across the EU. We established TESI, the technical platform for web-based data collection. Hand in hand with member states, we have worked hard to establish standardized reporting and data comparability across the EU through the use of common diagnostic and typing methods, case definitions, metadata and reporting protocols. Despite considerable efforts, collaboration and dedicated work of many colleagues in the Member States and in ECDC, we still have challenges to provide data that are comparable across a range of indicators for EU and EEA countries. Some of the reasons lie in different ways how health systems from where the data originate are organized. In addition to the collection of notification data, we have also established event-based surveillance that monitors infectious disease information on a 24-7 basis from internet or social media sources across all corners of the globe. This enables us to provide daily updates of COVID-19 core data for all countries of the world since the beginning of the pandemic. Our global updates are highly appreciated and reused by many, including such institutions as John Hopkins, Oxford University, as well as Microsoft, Google, and many media outlets. This is our daily work in the times of the pandemic. What we have seen, though, is that this is not enough. The pandemic has highlighted the need to enter a time of transformation in the way how health data are collected, analyzed and applied for better health outcomes. In Europe, most of the countries have started with digitalization of healthcare, among others with electronic health records, electronic prescriptions that can be shared across borders, electronic immunization information registries, and now, during the pandemic, contact tracing apps. Many questions need to be solved. How do we transition from burdensome notification systems to digital epidemiology? 
how do we capture data at its source and enable instantaneous and seamless application of data for decisions and strategies in disease prevention and control? How do we ensure transparency so that individuals know what happens to their data, have access to their health data, and are involved in how and what for these data are, are uh, used? How to make the technologies interoperable across borders? How to ensure safety and protection of the data? Several of these questions have been debated before and during the introduction of the contact tracing apps, and solutions have been found. The potential of further digitalization can result in patient empowerment or increased efficiency and cost savings in healthcare. However, in most of the ongoing developments, the needs of public health are not on the radar. At ECDC, we consider that further digitalization of health information will ultimately result in more data of better quality with less effort for infectious disease surveillance. One of our current priorities is to assess and integrate innovative technological and scientific advances to routine work and in particular the use of whole genome sequencing, e-health, big data and social media for surveillance. Currently, pilot studies are in the planning that will help us to understand what requirements are needed to perform EU disease surveillance using electronic healthcare data and which barriers have to be overcome. Some European countries are already in the process of using electronic data for surveillance purposes. Their experience has shown many potential benefits. As a first step, we need to establish a stronger communication line between public health and e-health authorities. We need to find solutions to seemingly opposite interests at the individual level, such as data protection concerns, and at population level, access to big data for epidemiological analysis to better target health policy efforts. Having this in a dialogue with all involved should build the trust that is necessary for the su successful operation of such digitalized data systems. ECDC sees it as its task to support member states in making the transition to adopt new technologies for improving public health. Ladies and gentlemen, we should use this crisis to learn how to further improve our health systems to be even better prepared for the next crisis. While we may not have learned yet everything that can be learned from the current pandemic, one point is clear for me. One important key to improving our preparedness and response is digitalized and data-driven epidemiology. Thank you, and I wish you a most productive final session of the EU Health Summit.